Look at that. Come here, Amber. Hey, good job. That feels good after what we just went through. Rooster. You guys know what sucks? Porcupine sucks. And we came across two of them tonight. We made it past the first one, no problem, and Ember got into the second one, and I had to pull some quills out of her mouth. And yeah, it's just never a fun experience when you gotta hold the dog down like that and yank stuff out of its mouth. But other than that, we had a pretty good walk. We got into five or six coveys of huns, and yeah, it was, a, it was an action-packed night with a lot of different birds. We even saw a few pheasants here and there and got some good dog work out of Ember, so we're gonna roll into that hunt right now and go through that. And tonight, I'm actually heading over to meet up with my buddy Justin. And tomorrow, the two of us are gonna go run our dogs together. So I'm looking forward to that. It's always a good time to meet up with Justin and get our dogs together on the ground and see what we can go find. And then from there, my dad and my cousin are coming out to meet us to hunt with us for a week. So super pumped about them being out here. This will be their first time out here. And I'm just, I'm just really pumped and excited to be able to hunt with my dad and my cousin out here. So let's get into tonight's hunt and we'll see you back out there. the dog. There goes two more. Imagine that. Good girl. We just had a covey of Huns fly off this wheat field and land right in front of us. A couple of them landed. I saw one scurrying up the hill. And a few of them flew past me. The dog's on point now. Amber.
There it is. I was wondering when we were gonna get it. Nice. Big old cockbird. I didn't think it was gonna make it off the ground. I hear another one running in here too. Whoa. Yeah, right. there it is right there, I see it. Good girl. The porcupine. Come on, let's go. Leave that alone. Ember. Ember! Damn it! Damn it! Here! Ah, I had a funny feeling about this. Yup, here. Here. Ah! Oh no, ah! Hey, 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 hey. Ember, no. Easy. Easy, girl. Easy. Hey. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. see your mouth. All right, I think you're clear now. Ah, that was my bad girl. I, I had it in the back of my mind that I had a thought that it was a porcupine and that's exactly what it was. I should have looked for it a little bit more. You all right? Doing okay? You look okay. Come here. I'm sorry that happened to you. Let's not mess with pokey things anymore. Good job, girl. Dead bird. Dead bird. Nice work, Ember. We ain't even 100 yards from where we just hit that damn porcupine. There's a little bit of, there's a little bit of good luck that was passed our way. Good job, Ember. Here, come here. Look at that, come here, Ember. Come here, girl. Hey, good job. Look at you. Good job, you little blood covered Brittany. Oh. That feels good after what we just went through. Man, that was not fun with that porcupine. I still feel bad about that. That was, man, that was my fault. I shouldn't have released the dog like that.
just some of the risks you take when you go out in the field and run a dog. You never know what's going to happen or what you're going to encounter. Ember. Dead bird, find. Good girl. Yes. Thank you. What's up, Forrest? What's up? Got the old Forrest and Yeti combo out. You ready, dude? You ready? Yeti. Everybody else wants to go. All right. Dog got a little distracted from the rest of the cubby taking off. I thought it was just a touch far, and I got way out in front of the son of a gun. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Nice shot. I got a point yards. Yep. Come here, Yeti. Yeti, come. Oh. Nice. Nice. Thank you. All right. Whoa. 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 Four, it's okay. 
Yeah, it went down right in here. I had to. Yeah, it did. Yep. There we go. Yep, it's got it. Nice. Good boy. Nice work, Forrest. Good boy. Yeah. Nice shot. Okay, dead bird. Yeti, come. Come here. Give. Good boy. Nice shot. Thank you very much. Yep. Good shot. Come here. Hey. Come here. Give. Good yeah, shooting, man. <laughs> oh, I, did, I didn't think I hit one. No, you did. You oh, hit the back one. Oh, did I? Yeah, I only shot one. Oh. Okay. Yep, you hit the first shot, dropped the back bird, and I oh. dropped this one. Yeah, you definitely got one. Nice. Yep. Hell yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah, I only took the one shot. Dead bird. Good boy. Good boy, Yeti. Good boy, come here. Yeti, come. Come here, good boy. Come here. Yeti, come. Come here. Good boy. Give. Nice work, Yeti. Those birds must have ran on us up here a little bit because they got out in front of me still, and I just tickled one enough to knock it down, and dog made a nice retrieve on it. Yep, there they are. Another one. I don't even know how many pheasants that was that just got up. Another one. My pheasant senses are tingling again. Rooster. Good boy. Ain't a sunrise like that something. You don't get to see stuff like that where I'm from back home. Just something about these wide open spaces and seeing the full sunrise, sunset, just the vastness of everything. It's a pretty cool experience. I'm out here with Justin this morning again. I'm gonna run Aspen back here. Yesterday morning we ran Yeti and Forest, our Two males, experienced dogs together, had a really good hunt, really good time. A lot of fun hunting together. We got into a lot of birds, got some shooting in, and 
yeah, dogs did really, really well together, and it's always fun seeing those two dogs run together. But this morning, we're going out with Aspen, going to run up and down some of these canyons and coolies and see what we find. We can find sharp tails, huns, and pheasants in a spot like this, so it should be a pretty exciting walk. If you haven't already, check out Justin's channel. You can find him at Northern Forest Gun Dogs here on YouTube. I'll drop his link in the description below if you guys want to check it out. He's out here this year with his six dogs. He's got his four new puppies to the string this year, and he's got two older experienced dogs. So he's got a pretty fun crew to follow along with. So go check out his channel if you guys haven't, and we're going to start hunting. What's up, Forrest? Cross and go up that there. Ah. Good girl. Hey, give. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Nice work. Nice work. Good job. It took us a couple coveys to get on some birds. Come on, girl. Here. Come on. Come on, Aspen. Good girl. Good girl. Good job, girl. Right here. Hey. Good girl. Give. Give. Nice work. I could see it standing out there. Yeah, I see it stick its head up. I was like, ah, don't go yet, buddy. I need just a, I need a few more steps. Well, guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Hope you enjoyed it. Had a good couple days hunting there with the dogs outside of the porcupine encounter, of course, but Ember's been doing just fine ever since then. It's going on six or seven days now since we had that encounter and no issues with her, so that's good to see. Um, she's been hunting for me the last few weeks, been out having a good time, pointing birds, and yeah, just happy she didn't have any further complications from that. Uh, the next episode is going to be with my dad and my cousin Dan. They came out here and hunted with Justin and I for four days, and we had a really good time. Everybody got some shooting in, shot some birds. Dogs did great. Got some great dog work with all of us hunting together. So I'm excited to share that one. That's going to be on the next one. But other than that, still got a little bit of time hunting here. I'm getting ready to change areas and go hunt a different bird. So I'm excited to do that. I'll be on the road here shortly and we'll be back after it. So I'll catch you guys on the next one with my dad and my cousin, Dan.